Stay your name, where you from? Save Flames, man. 195 First Street, you heard? Spy and shit. And what, what city and uh, state we in? No, no, New Jersey, you heard? Home of the New Jersey Devils, you feel me? And what it's like out here in the Spires? Saying shit, bro. Trenchers, you see what's going on, you feel me? This ain't no suburban area, you feel me? This shit poverty out here for real, you heard? Just gotta find a way to fight through this shit. Did you, you always lived out here? Yeah, since a youngin', you heard? We now it's about worse. like expanding and getting away from this shit for real. How was your childhood growing up? Saying, as a child, everybody struggle, you feel me? Uh, Pops wasn't really with me type shit. My boots was an addict, you feel me? That's the reason I strive harder though, for real. What, what were some of your hobbies going on? Uh, well, I make music a lot, you feel me? I was playing ball, making music. Music really my main hobby though, for real. No letting up on that. Let the people know how tall you are, yo. <laughs> I'm 6'3", <three>, you heard? <laughs> so you, play, you was playing ball, like what year? Like, what grade? Uh, it's like 15. 2015. When you stop playing ball? Once I jumped into the streets, bro. I've been in the streets, but it was too much going on, you feel me? I was going to school out of bounds and shit, you feel me? So I'm like, nah, I'm gonna leave that shit alone type shit. What type of student were you in school? <laughs> I wasn't no good nigga, I ain't gonna hold you, you feel me? <laughs> uh, I was a class clown, no cap. Did you end up finishing school? Nah. I ain't finished school, you heard. Would you ever plan to go back at a certain time? I definitely will plan to go back, but that's probably when I'm away from, you feel me? A lot of the negativity shit. You feel me? And so when did you officially start rapping? I know you said you always been rapping, but like, yeah, I, I taking say it like serious. taking it serious, like 12, 13, you feel me? I start actually really hitting the studio. I really hit the studio my first time, like 11 years old and shit, you feel me? And I liked that shit from there. Just ain't let up after that, you feel me? And what inspired you to start rapping? Saying I'm a big Tupac and Biggie fan, you heard? They talking about shit we going on now, but they was talking about that shit years ago, you feel me? So that's my big inspiration. And my son, you heard? And besides Biggie and Tupac, who are the other artists that you listen to going on? Uh, Wayne, you feel me? You definitely gotta give a big shout out to Wayne, you feel me? He had his foot on, on niggas' neck for too long. And who else besides Wayne? Uh, Yo Gotti, you feel me? Uh, who else I can say? I really listen to me, you heard? I don't really be trying to sound like too many artists. What type of artist would you say you are? Like, how would you describe yourself? Versatile. Style? Very versatile. I'm an all-around artist, you feel me? I got shit for females, I got shit niggas can relate to, drill shit, however they want it. And what would you say, like, your motivation comes from, from making music? I'm saying, once I actually see, like, people listening to my music and shit, and, like, it don't even really be the older people, it would be the little kids, like, they come out like, Zay Flames, like, yo, that shit hard, you feel me? And that shit just motivate me to, like, you feel me? Just strive more. Conquer more for real. So like it feels good to have like an impact on you. Hell uh, yeah, definitely. And like I see like your dances and stuff like the mill and the safe. I, I, I saw you shot that video yesterday. How, how'd it go? Uh, that video shoot, that shit was real lit. You feel me? Stay, keep your eyes open. Mill and the safe on the way for sure. And how'd that come about, uh, Lincoln with Rory? Rory, I'm saying. Rory been wanted to shoot Mill in the Safe. Like, I dropped a little snippet of Mill in the Safe like a year ago. That shit went crazy on my son Jur's page. But Guap had shot my direct video, you heard? 21K in a week, too, you heard? <laughs> and how that make you feel to know, like, you really getting, like, view, like views, you know, people really tuning in? I'm saying that shit feel good. The reason why I feel like the city been asleep a minute, you feel me? Like, I've been letting everybody do them type shit, drop visuals. I wasn't really dropping visuals. I was just dropping tapes, you feel me? But now I see, like, I got the city woke, you feel me? No letting up. We going up for real. And how, did, how was the process for making this song? I'm saying the process of making a song, it wasn't really that hard, you feel me? Because I make sure I notice it before I hit the studio. 
So like, what, like, how long did it take you to make it? I say like about 30 minutes. And for me on the safe, like I saw you guys were practicing in the uh, studio, yeah, so it was Lord. like, so the video was gonna have like a lot of dance within yeah, it. Yeah, like some that. good choreography in there. Shout out my son Jers too. He he a big impact on the choreography for me on the safe. And which one is like your favorite song that you ever made? That I made my intro. You feel me? I think uh, a lot of people would relate to my intro for real. What would you say would be a fan favorite? Huh? What would you say be like a fan favorite? Uh, I mean, direct, you <laughs> heard, direct, direct going crazy direct. right now. When do you think that's going to hit with 100K? I see it coming. I say probably like, no exaggeration, we had like 21K in a week, you feel me? So I'm saying that should probably hit like 50K by the end of the month. So how would you say it feels to be on the up and coming? That shit feel good, you heard. How would you say your family and friends feel about you after? Saying, I don't say like my family and shit. They motivate me and push me to strive. They notice my dream, that's my goal type shit. You feel me? So it's like they a big impact on me actually going to the studio and recording. You feel me? They know, they know my worth type shit. Would you, what would you say like a day is like for you in the studio like? Saying that shit ain't nothing but a vibe, you feel me? It's just like us out here in the trenches. We're gonna go out there, have a good time type shit. As long as I get what I need to get done, you feel me? We just vibing, other than that. How, like, you write your music, do you freestyle? I freestyle some of my music, I write majority of it though. Okay. Hey, so. How long does it usually take you to make a song? Less than a day. I could probably knock out like two songs in one day. Like I say like three hours. It depends on how busy I am. If I got time on my hand, I can knock that shit right out. And if I'm like moving around during the day type shit, I say probably like uh, like three hours, four hours. And when you go into the studio, are you writing in the studio or you already I already had that shit. Like when I go to the studio, I make sure it's written already. I probably like go over it two times before I hit the studio to see how I wanna like how can I say it? Like, bring it out type shit, you feel me? So when I go there, it's nothing but straight work. I, get there, you feel me? I don't waste no time in the studio. Like, I ain't going there to just sit down and roll up weed. And that shit gonna be done before I hit the studio for sure. Do you have a certain engineer that you use? Shout out my son, Sag, you heard? From Air Sound Studio. Yeah. Like, do you use original beats or? Nah, I got some original beats, but the majority of them be off either beat stars or be tight beats. What's some new content that you have dropped? I'm saying I got the mill in the safe. I got a project called Don't Count Me Out that's on the way. Probably like 12 to 15 songs on it. You feel me? That's probably like the newest content that I've been dropping. And like, you have any dates for any fans? I really don't got no release date for the uh, tape. But just know it's coming real soon, you feel me? I got, my main goal is to at least make 50 songs that I gotta uh, pick out of type shit. How many songs have you made so far? I got 180 songs okay, in total, released? you feel me? That's unreleased, released, and probably like 30 of them shit's released. And then you got plans to drop all that unreleased music? Real soon, you feel me? I, I got shit in the clip, you feel me? I'm just keeping shit in the clip just so I could be consistent and constantly dropping on them. And you have any like upcoming mixtapes or albums coming out? Yeah, uh, don't count me out. I got another one, uh, motivation to my city. That's the second part of motivation for my city. Well, what are some of the dates for this? I'm saying September the 11th, motivation to my city. You heard? I don't really got no date for don't count me out though. Now, how would you say you market yourself as an artist? I'm saying. Me marketing myself, I uh, make sure that my music everywhere, you heard? Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, iTunes. Alright. Damn, he just fucked me up. He <laughs> just fucked me up. <laughs> so they can find every, uh, all your music on all streaming platforms? All streaming platforms. You can actually Google my name. My music will pop up everywhere I'm located. And who else makes music from right here? I'm saying my son Mar, my son Key Will, you heard? And my little bro Pimp. I see you got a manager. Yeah. Uh, my, son crack. my son Crack. My son Tone Crack. Chaotic. 
And what's his Instagram for the people? Uh, Project Poppy, 7-4. So when people need to hit you, they hit him or you? Huh? When people need to hit you up for work, they hit me. They hit me, yeah. So for features, how much how much you charge? Man. And who are some of the artists that you collaborate with? Right now, I got something with 90. I got shit with Arsenal, Shotgun, Shug, NJ Twerk. Uh, me and Chucky on the way type shit. Man, just stay in tune, keep your eyes open, you feel me? What's some of your hobbies outside of making music? Making sure my fam's straight, you heard? That's the biggest hobby. <laughs> I see like you be posting your son a lot, you see he be vibing yeah. to your music, how does it make you feel to know like he really that's my, that's my that's my reflection, you heard? That shit make me smile, that shit make me strong more for real, you feel me? And if you grew up making music, would you, would you support him? Yeah, I definitely coach him, I support him all the way. So would you sign to a label if they came to you? She show, she show his face. I'm saying, I won't do no deals where it's to the point where I'm stuck in a contract, you feel me? Everything could be a stepping tool, you feel me? Like, alright, I use this to get here type shit, you feel me? And if you had to play a label, one song to get signed, what song would you play? I'll play in Bogus. My song, Bogus. And with more like to uh like with more attention being on Jersey, how do you plan to capitalize off it? I'm saying I'ma keep it a buck. Jers got a crazy fan base right now, you feel me? Jers really a fuck around and blow before any one of these artists out here, you feel me? My boy definitely in tune. Cat, so like and how did that, how did that come about, like your relation with Jers? I'm saying, me and Jers, like bros, you heard? More than 10 years plus type shit, you feel me? Been around Jers since we was young type shit, you feel me? That's why it's always like, it's family between us, you heard? It ain't no bros, it's family, you heard? Who are your top five artists in Jersey that you rock with right now? My top five artists? Man, shout out Kazi Stoner, Bundles, uh, 90 Racks. I will never count me out, you heard? And um, who else put in on? Lord D. Rose snapping for the city too, you heard? And would you collab with any of those artists? I know you say you got a song with 90. Yeah, I got something with Kazi. Um, everybody else I definitely collab with, you heard? But everybody gotta be on my level type shit. And besides those artists and besides yourself, who else you listen to from Jersey? Uh, Hondo. Feel me, bro, from Elizabeth, he be snapping. My son Nook from Plainfield, feel me, really it. I don't really be listening to too many artists. Niggas be ass, I ain't gonna lie. Here. Niggas be ass. And why do you think, like, no one really growing up from Jersey? Like, we have a lot of talent, but... I'm saying, we got a lot of talent, but it's a lot of hate out here, too, you heard? Yeah. Niggas don't really want to see the next person win, or the next person better than them, you heard? Like, that shit ain't gonna never be like, I... The whole city pushing one artist, you heard? Yeah. It's too many niggas trying to be better than the, than the next person for real. And do you think there's a way that, that like Jersey can change that? Cause you see like Atlanta. I'm saying, you feel me? We could change that shit, together. but that shit gotta start within one group. Yeah. Once everybody see one group doing that shit, then everybody might fall in line. These niggas really be going off of what they see, you feel me? Yeah. What plans do you have to take your music career to the I'm saying drop consistent, more visuals in their face, more tapes, you feel me? Um, definitely got to do more shows, more interviews to make the city feel me more, you feel me? You know, I'm like, I'm going to actually physically uh, be skipping states real soon, you feel me? Going to promote my music and shit, so that's another way that I feel like I'm going to be able to go and handle that more. And if you can collaborate with a mainstream artist, what would you choose? I'm saying a little baby got shit sold up right now. <laughs> you feel me? Little baby, little dirt. Definitely hurt. And probably ESTG. ESTG doing this thing right now too. And do you have any upcoming shows? Yeah. Uh, what's some of the dates for those? Uh, I got a show coming up on the third. I recently just had one. You feel me? Them the only two really. But September the third, we lit. Where that's at? I really don't know the location right now. You feel me? But they can hit my DM once I find out. And what is one message that you would give to your fans? One message? Man, don't let nothing stop y'all, you heard? Stay motivated, stay focused. It's always hating shit going on and misleading ass people, you heard? You gotta eliminate yourself out of that.